Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, so in this video, uh, I want to talk about theorem, uh, which is very simple, but uh, 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 people like to say. Okay, so this is the so-called the Richelet approximation theorem. Okay, so this theorem uh, behind, there's a many, uh, a large area uh, behind this theorem called the, uh, uh, the I think it's the the the, uh, the Dolphin approximation. So basically, some uh, idea of the approximation, the number theory, and uh, this Dirichlet approximation theorem can be viewed as uh, the simplest uh, version. Okay, so let me just state it. So the idea is that uh, uh want to so the key idea is that want to approximate, want to approximate irrationals, irrationals. Right, so with with rationals, right? This is <laughs> somewhat trivial, right? But we want to make some uh, quantitative uh, quantitative argument, okay? Because the theorem is very simple. Let's say you take any real number alpha, and uh, uh, let's take a large integer n, and suppose that uh, the suppose you can only use uh, you can only use the tuple n, n times n to form uh, uh, rational numbers, and then you want to ask how how you can approximate. It. Okay, so there is this the P and Q, uh, where uh, both P Q less than n. Uh, sorry. Uh, there is this P and Q, where it's uh, basically uh, it's an integer, and the uh, Q less or equal to n. So this is the so the denominator is bounded, and such that uh, you get the Q alpha minus P less less than one over n. Okay, this is exactly the same as uh, alpha minus p divided by q less than one over q squared. Okay, we're gonna check this. So basically, uh, this is what we're gonna prove. So basically, you can approximate any real uh, irrational numbers. So rash, I mean, if it's if it's rational, then it's trivial, right? If it's irrational, then you can try to uh, try to approximate alpha with p over q, uh, and for each n, you pick up large n, then you can prove you can always find a p over q such that this is less than one over q square okay so this q square is somehow like the the quantitative version that the uh, that the uh, that uh, you can use okay. okay so uh i think i don't i don't have to talk about examples and you can check out examples on uh, go to online or however right so for, for example you can let's say you choose uh square root of two and uh uh, one simple approximation should be seven divided by five, right? And another will be uh, twelve divided, uh, seventeen divided by twelve, and then you can I think it's forty-one divided by twenty-nine. Okay, you can check this, and you can check that uh, this is actually bounded by one q squared. Okay, proof. Okay, so proof is very simple using the the pinion hole principle. Okay, so let's pick up n. Right, so let's pick up n. You pick n. And then let's say, uh, okay, and then you consider k from 0, 1, 2, uh, up to n, right? And then let's say you, you times k alpha, okay? So you can you imagine that alpha is irrational, so alpha is uh, irrational, and then where k alpha, right? And you, so that's, so k alpha, uh, you take the, the, the integer part, right? So it's k alpha integer part. So this is integer part plus xk, okay? And in this case, uh, uh, greater than zero and less than one. Okay. Okay. So that means, uh, so one can divide. So one can divide zero one to, yeah, into into n into this large n uh in into this n uh, uh section. So basically, if each one is uh basically from zero uh one over n and one over n and over two over n to n and minus one and the n uh this is one okay so n sections okay so once you do this then the the, the total you have you have what you have uh, n plus n plus one numbers right so from principal principles which tell you that they're at least so they're at least so they're at least two of them are in the same are in the same uh, are in the same interval are in the same intervals because you got n plus one numbers right and then you and there's a n section an n uh, there's an n uh, uh, n intervals 
Okay, so uh, now it's trivial, right? Because uh, let's say uh, it's trivial, right? So because, uh, right? So you have X, I, and X, J, which they are in the same interval, right? So their, their difference is less or equal to uh, one over N, where this can be written as a J minus I alpha minus, right? So remember that, uh, uh, I remember what? Okay, so remember this i alpha is i alpha this plus x i, and the j alpha is j alpha this plus x j. Right, so you can write this as a uh, j alpha minus i alpha minus minus this j alpha minus i alpha. Okay, so this is uh, this is equal to this. Okay. Okay, so now you can you can divide j minus i. Okay, so you can divide j minus i. Prove that this. Okay, and j minus i is less than one over n squared, right? Or uh, or basically yeah. So this is less or equal to j minus i squared. Uh, right, right, okay. Mm. Okay. Right, because uh, j minus i is less or equal to n, right? So this, 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 uh, this turn, uh, this turns is less than this, okay? And the least terms is i j alpha minus i alpha, right? This is an integer, right? So you, this is an integer. So this guy is a rational, right? So we prove that alpha minus, let's say you, you did, did all this to be P, it is to be Q. So alpha minus P over Q, that's then equal to one over Q squared by denoting Q equals J minus I and the P, def P defined to be J alpha uh, floor minus I alpha floor. Okay, so this is the proof of the rigid that approximate theory by using a pinch holes. Okay, so very simple uh, video. See you guys next video.